Welcome to Matt's Metalworking. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use and read a digital mechanical micrometer. A mic for short is a precision measuring instrument which can hold an accuracy to four decimal places or one tenth of a thou or thousandth. For this video, I am using a one to two inch as an example and also have a two to three inch micrometer as well. A mechanical digital micrometer is easier to read than compared to a standard micrometer but the fourth decimal place still requires reading of the vernier scale. The downfalls are that it's more expensive to purchase, does have more moving parts, and can be slightly more work to calibrate. A micrometer can be used to measure the diameter of a shaft or ball, or measure the length, width, or thickness of other objects, and can also take transferred measurements, such as using a bore gauge. As for the parts of the micrometer, First we have the C frame. This is a rigid construction which is needed to minimize any flexing that could affect the accuracy. The frame is available in a variety of sizes in order to achieve the 0 to 1 inch, 1 to 2 inch, 3 to 4 inch, etc. ranges. The anvil, a stationary piece opposite of the spindle that is used as a measuring surface. Across from the anvil is the spindle. This is the other measuring surface used to close onto the object while you are taking a reading. A lock is located in the C frame. This is used to hold a spindle in place to take a reading. The sleeve is a stationary component that includes both the linear and vernier scales. Typically, there is a special wrench supplied with the micrometer that is used to adjust the sleeve during calibration. Now for the thimble, usually having a knurled surface which is used to operate the spindle. The edge of the thimble where it covers the sleeve is also used as a reference edge to help read the sleeve's linear scale. In this case, it really isn't needed for reading as we have the readout. However, it is still needed for the vernier scale. Next is the thimble scale. The ratchet that has a preset slip in order to apply the same amount of pressure to each part when you are measuring. And finally, the mechanical digital readout which reads the full inch measurement along with providing three decimal places. When using a micrometer, it's always important to ensure it has been properly calibrated and both the measuring surfaces of the micrometer and the part you are measuring is clean. Considering this is a one to two inch micrometer, it should be verified using the supplied dummy block or a gauge block. For the first example, measuring the length of this scrap piece of aluminum round stock, there are two ways we can use the micrometer one by adjusting the drag or tightness by hand, and the other using the ratchet. Normally, when using bore gauges, you would adjust this by hand as to not affect the reading. This does take some practice and comfort when using the feel method. There should be mild pressure on the part, enough where you can feel the surface contact, but not too much where it's hard to move or clamp down on the part. Apply the lock and then take the reading. Reading the mechanical digital readout is quite easy. First we have 1 inch and 466 thou. Flipping the micrometer over to inspect the vernier, we need to determine which line aligns best with the thimble scale. This would be 2, giving us a final measurement of 1 inch, 466 thou, and 2 tenths, or 1.4662 inches. Moving on to the second example, Always ensure the measuring surface of the part and the micrometer are clean. Again, by feel with mild drag on the part, the reading is 1.752 inches. Moving over to the vernier scale between the sleeve and thimble, the best aligned line is 4, which is the fourth decimal place. The final measurement is 1 inch, 752 thou, and 4 tenths of an inch. And finally, the third measurement. This time around, using the ratchet for the surface pressure. Between the ratchet and feel, you should be able to achieve the same drag on the surface, maintaining accuracy. One to two clicks is really all that's needed. The readout gives us a measurement of one inch and 247 thou. Flipping over to the vernier scale, we have eight. Our final measurement is 1.2478 or one inch, 247 thou, and eight tenths of an inch. This concludes the rest of my video. 
If you have found it helpful, please leave a comment below and throw a like my way. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more metalworking videos. Thank you for watching.